Hello everybody, welcome to tonight's video. This video it is about me mimicking the horses this summer from the very front field. All the way back here. Now, one of the reasons why we've done it and stuff was for the safety of the horses. For the most part, they do stay out in their front field. And we don't want to go into the backfield just for a little bit of change of scenery and so that they get some fresh hay. Uh, it's this time it was a safety because of a few things in the front field. So from June 15th to about halfway near the end of last week of September, they were in the backfield all the time. Now, because of it, the summer being very hot this summer and buggy with the fat paddocks right beside our overflow pond, there was a lot of bugs. So if you have seen my morning evening routine video, it does show the horses at being inside a lot to give them a little break. And I was also giving both my mares, Snowball and Princess, a nice break from wearing the muzzles. So here are some clips of what the fence was looking like and why we had to put them in at the backfield. So as you can see in the video, um, the north ends of it, the front paddock along with the south end of the paddock we had it just put page wire and um, the wooden post up. At the time when we did a build of this field, it was with just having the minis at the time. So we didn't really take into account of a 16 hand horse, around 1100 pounds, putting pressure on it as he was trying to get to step on the other side. So last summer, a lot of our fruit trees along the laneway, which I'll be taking to very shortly, had a lot of abundance of fruit. Now along with those ones, we do also have a lot of other trees throughout the property, especially along our um, shoot that we've built to move the horses from front to back and back to front. We do have a lot of uh, crab apple trees and one of the trees was actually very close to the corner of uh, the paddock and the chute that also just as well as other ones grabbed grew a lot a lot of apples so this this one tree right here uh, is one of our apple trees that is usually in the past loaded with apples not to the point where branches that are actually being hanging down and even the minis whenever I would take them to the backfield would sometimes be able to reach the apples my apples that would fall on the chute especially from these branches right here they would love it and love it when these ones would shut the apples at the point where sometimes it'd be very hard to, to get them to leave the chute So this tree right here is the tree that had a lot of apples that would actually fall down. And because of that, and the amount of apples that we got, so much of them ended up falling by the fence. Right here, especially in this area. You can see from the fence here, so it would push on it a lot. That's where it was actually even a little bit lower trying to get to the apples on the ground and some of these branches, again with the weight of it, let it drag them down. So one thing that we did, which I will show in a couple of clips here, is my dad ended up at first when put these uh, boards up and that's what we were looking for different things to possibly to fix it which we ended up doing last week which is this right here in the description box down below 
They'll put a Langa from the store that we ended up buying it from with the name of the product so that you guys can look it all up. It does come in three different colors, white, black, and brown. And as you can tell, we ended up going with the brown. Pull it right there. Done in that corner. Looks like I got a good eight, nine feet extra. We're good. Top rail fence is all done.
one more for good measure. 